Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to be digging a pool. I'm gonna show you guys the ins and outs. It's gonna be a long video, so stick around. And uh, we're gonna show you step by step how we dig a pool in uh, specific circumstances, you know, lay of the land, the backyard, all that, what we do, how we're doing it. They've got some pretty cool things on here that we're gonna do, but we normally don't get into. I say cool, but they really suck. Um, but you know we have to deal with them so it is what it is but uh we're gonna start digging um and let's get into it all right so here's the deal every time you get to a job the first thing you do is you set grade for your concrete you got to know where your concrete's gonna go all this has to be planned if you don't have it planned when you're building you need to get it planned because uh, that's not how we roll um you don't become uh you know successful by coming up here and just making it up as you go whether you're a homeowner or builder, whatever the case is. So the first plan of attack is to get your grade set. We have like a ton of drop. It's hard to see, but this thing drops right here and it goes like, it's pools gonna be sticking out of the ground like three or four feet. We have 13 feet of concrete and on that 13 feet, uh, we need to make sure we're set for grade. Now it just so happens that we are um, very soft right here. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it, but like, it's just super soft. So the plan is to uh, cut it out a couple more inches than we normally do and put an extra two inches of gravel. So we normally do two inches, we're gonna do four, and uh, that's, that's four. And uh, we're going to compact it very well because we wanna make sure this is really set for our clients here. So um, that's the first step. We got the transit set and we got it uh, I got it for the establish the height of the concrete and then I go up eight inches is what we're doing normally I do six Today we're doing eight and that will give us plenty of rock three maybe four to five inches of rock um, very Give us a lot, which is what we need uh, Also We might be doing a deck drain in the middle, which I know we will So, you know, it's gonna slope down. So that's another reason to have it a little high a little low the dig so we can get that done and we don't have to worry about it running into dirt. You know, if it's flat and it's just enough for gravel, when you pitch it an inch or two, then it's you're hitting dirt and you don't want that. Okay. All right, part of the dig here is we're building a retaining wall here. It goes way up. So we need to dig. <clears throat> they're building the retaining wall. The clients, the homeowners are. We're putting our equipment slab over here. So they're gonna build a retaining wall there and there. And we're gonna put a slab on top and then it's gonna step down. But our dig needs to go back to that line and over there, because that's the concrete comes out and over, but we gotta get all this cleared out for wall and landscaping. Um, and then we gotta get all, that's gonna be the our transit height. So part of uh, what we're gonna do to uh, eliminate a lot of sinking is we're gonna scrape the rest of it with, uh, the excavator and then come back and grade with the bucket. It looks like our rock just got here. <laughs> there went the sidewalk. You see that thing move? to do now is go down another foot and clean up that grass and get that dirt it's a lot more work a lot more time but and it's a lot more of everything this is part of it man this is part of digging this is why i'm making this video so you guys know hey this is what i gotta expect this is what can happen on a job so we're down like eight inches and we hit grass so we're gonna go all the way and take it out 
Well, that's about as good as it comes when it comes to operating, man. This guy's good. That's why we utilize him. Very important. When you get to the level that we're at in business, you gotta use guys that are extremely talented, better than you, and accomplishing your goals. Even though there's excavators speed up. He's a beast. Now we're just gonna get this sodded. Scrape it up, nice and clean. Done deal, look at that. Tad bit in there, but it's solid, man. It's good. All right, here we go. First, first bucket of the day. This video is gonna consist of, you know, time lapse, video footage, me talking. So, you know, stick around if you guys are really interested in digging a pool, building a pool in general. Uh, subscribe to the channel and check it out. But this video specifically is just going to be dig, layout, and everything that goes into you know getting ready to build a solid foundation for your swimming pool. Uh, it's concrete, electrical, plumbing, drainage, everything. So stick around, and um, we're going to get into a time lapse. I think will be good because what I can do is I can back up and then go around the edge and finish digging out the mine side. The only reason we need this is when we get our, those points over there dialed in. Because mm -hmm. these, these things, instead of having two, has three. Yeah, they have to all sit evenly in the same yeah. spot. Uh, two and a half inch coping, travertine. How big is the track inch and a half? Yeah, five glasses and a half. So, two and a half plus inch and a half is four inches. So that's our zero, four. Okay? 
So easy to set too. Yeah, the past, the past couple of years, only the best one I've done. That's what them guys use. Half inch. Something. Oh yeah, boy, we in business. Hey, why is it four inches? Oh, we're putting hardstone in? Oh, uh, if it's low, it don't matter. Good. Okay. All right, that's it, guys. So, yeah. I'm trying to push hardstone versus I know, hardstone's way better. We have a product out here in the Midwest that we call called hardstone. It's a cooling product, and it's uh, thicker than the travertine. Travertine's two inches. What is it, two and five eighths or two and a half? What? The uh, hardstone. Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah, so it's half inch thicker, but. But you know, you we have it. variants. Yeah. You know, we can go up and down a little bit. Down, you, you know, it's, you got all your concrete still because, but uh, anyway, it's a lot better product. It's cool because it's cooling. It doesn't get hot. You ever, did you know that, Wes? You ever cool. seen it? Hardstone? I have never seen it. They pour it in a cave. They in a cave under the wall. And it cures for like three weeks. And so, because of that effect, in the sun, it doesn't heat up. Preview of the map here. So our first measurement, we got, we're going to start the deep end because it's easier to dig, but we're going eight foot and that's eight foot, one half inch. Nobody knows why, but it is what it is. So that's the reason why we set our transit on one foot mark. So now all we got to do, we got two inches of gravel, okay, to be packed underneath. So now we're going to go nine foot, two inches. And that way we can put two inches of gravel and uh, put it where we want it. Same thing with all these measurements. So, you know, eight foot one, so it'd be nine foot one, uh, two and a half, seven foot five and a half. It's gonna be eight foot seven and a half, so on and so forth, all the way up. So it's pretty, pretty simple, um, but everything's very calculated and very detailed. You know, just like you, this down here, this is like you're counting for your coping, your auto cover, everything is calculated. It's very important because if not, you're gonna, it's your, these little details, when everything's done, lined up, it's just not gonna look good. So you want everything done right and it'll all turn out well.
All right, y'all, we're on the iPhone. Not like it makes much difference, but anyway, we're in the hole, and um, it's gonna get loud here, but a couple tips. I got my spot marked out. Everything here is good. It's actually low. Um, this stuff is hard enough clay to wear. We dug up a little extra, and he just packed it down, and it's, it's solid, so we'll be all right. And uh, when we get done anyway, I'll put about an inch or so of rock and plate compact it um, really well. So either way, we're going to get whatever's loose. But right here is the edge of my height. That line is good. Everything else is high. And that's how I grade and uh, use to so he can tell where he has to dig out where his line is. Um, so it makes it so much easier pinpoint all the all the breaks where it's high where you know where it's level here and then it goes up and that'll uh determine that well paint yeah paint it good you'll run it over again i never ran it over the first time yeah because i moved it <laughs> hey, that yeah like four inches don't do it, Jimmy. So, good news is on that rock. That was right there. It's about three inches low. So, we're good. Uh, thank God. Hopefully, we don't hit any more. This is the deepest part of the pool. So, let's keep it going. keeping the height good on this first set here marking so he knows that he doesn't have to stop digging very important to the efficiency of the dig is keeping the uh, excavator rolling at all times good communication we still haven't figured out everything between me and uh, Wes we only dug a couple holes together but as far as cues and you know uh, this that and the other but so far pretty good but just making sure everything is very visible for him marking it out grading uh, I mean, cleaning up with your come along and your shovel make sure it's all good because once he's done he ain't coming back and it's not like a vinyl liner where we come in with a skid steer we want to just be done when we're uh pass through you throw a rock in and pack it in
communication trick when it comes to an excavator. Watch his teeth. He's good. He's got to watch you. You know, he's good. Ink him up. There you go. Down a little bit. Down. There you go. Cut it in. Boom. Tell, watch him teeth down, down, up a little bit, and then, and then he knows to go at an angle. Should. A good excavator does anyway. All right. We got six foot four and three quarter, <coughs> seven foot six and three quarter. Play. That's four foot from the two point two, two and a foot two inches, and we're ready to go. All right, everyone, we are finished up. Final walkthrough, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here. Um, this is, you know, you can see our final dig marks or just our dig marks in general. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like laid out. I like to use a line, you know, kind of sometimes to see where I'm at. It's actually low right there, like four inches, but it's all right. Um, but it, you know, you can see the pool shape. It's flat, comes up and over. It's one of the hardest pools to dig fiberglass, the hardest actually. Um, but I mean, that's it. Just a matter of getting gravel and prepping it. So around here, we got the equipment slab. Um, you guys keep that in mind when you're digging your pool, where's your equipment going? There's a big retaining wall going up there. So we'll just put our pipe in and up. 
and then our electrical will go on the far wall uh, and then um, and then our auto cover this is another thing you got to be looking out for if you put an auto cover in or not making sure there's enough room for that um, it actually sticks out a foot on this side but the pool is going to be in like a foot so I should be fine there and then I got enough for my motor which is three foot which is over there all right, y'all, I think that's it. I've covered pretty much everything for digging um, that I can think of. Maybe uh, shoot a comment if you uh, have any questions, but um, that's it. I mean, this is how we dig them. I don't think I've left anything out uh, other than, than uh, we have to finish it up on Monday, get it prepped, but uh, that's for another video. Um, and if you guys want to see that video, let me know. If the video gets a thousand likes and uh, show enough interest, I'll make one for prepping the bottom. But um and then also setting the shell too so there's a whole there's a whole process to the whole thing but but that's it 